It's March the 10th, 1967. Four F-4 Phantom IIs from the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, 433rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, are taking off from an airbase in Thailand. Four planes take a heading for Hanoi. Their mission is to take out steel mills nearby the city. The element leader is Captain Bob Pardo. In the rear seat, Lieutenant Steve Wayne. Plane number four has Captain Earl Amon in the front and Lieutenant Bob Houghton behind. Approaching Hanoi, Amon's plane is hit and Eamon manages to keep his place in the formation. But under the heavy fire, disaster strikes as Eamon's plane is hit again by anti-aircraft fire. Then, Pardo's plane is hit too. They turn for Laos, where they can rendezvous with a KC-135 tanker before pushing on to Thailand. Eamon radios to Pardo. The F-4 is now leaking so much fuel that he's not going to make it. The tanks are almost empty. Pardo had the fuel to make it to the tanker. He told Eamon, I won't leave you. Pardo didn't have much time to think, and he maneuvered behind Houghton's plane and carefully approached from the rear. Lining up the nose of his F-4 with the rear of the other, he tried to give it a push. With Eamon's spluttering engines running, the turbulence was causing issues. Pardo told Eamon, Eject the drag chute. The turbulence wasn't helping the plan, so he told Eamon to shut down his engines. The Phantom's nose cone that was ideal for slipping through the air also made it ineffective as a ram to push another plane. Trying again and again and failing, he had another flash of inspiration. Bob Pardo told Earl Amon, Lower the tail hook. Lining up again and coming in close, Bob maneuvered to get the tail hook smack in the middle of his windscreen. The glass started to crack under the pressure. If the glass gave way, it would mean certain death. Again and again, Bob kept on like this. It slowed the descent of the stricken F-4 to just 1,500 feet per minute. Alarms went off inside Pardo's plane. The left engine was on fire. Pardo's left engine was critically damaged. Carrying on with just one engine, keeping the two F-4s in the air, he realized that his fuel had finally been spent. The two planes had traveled 88 miles under the power of one crippled F-4. They had just made it across the border to Laos. Pardo watched as Eamon and Houghton ejected from their bird. Immediately after, Wayne and Pardo followed suit. Laos was also a war zone at the time, and the natives conducted a search for the downed pilots. 45 minutes on the ground, all the men were whisked away by a rescue helicopter. 20 years later, Major John R. Pardo, First Lieutenant Steve Wayne, received the Silver Star for their actions on that day.